What the heck happened last week? We're going to let you know. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Rick and Nikki here. Hello. Coming at you with the latest theme park news, rumors, and happenings. But before we get to that, <laughs> real quick, um, I just want to mention um, we're doing a home stretch of like the holidays. Yes. So that means like my video posting schedule most likely will be a little off. Oh, yeah. The next two weeks are going to be busy in terms of like family and home stuff. Yeah. So um, I hope you have your bell notifications on. Yeah, so you know when we post, because <laughs> it might be a little haphazard. I'll, I'll try to keep, like, two of them standard. I'll, I'll try to ha- always have my Friday and my, um, my Monday one. But uh, happy holidays. <laughs> Stuff's happening. It is. <laughs> also, I want to mention that the latest Rick's Flicks book, Murder at the Raven's Claw, Ooh. is now available per, uh, for purchase. Yes. Very exciting. Um, this is short story number four. Mm-hmm. It's a holiday murder mystery. Yes, and you'll see some familiar names in that book as well. Uh, there is a link to that in the description box. Mm-hmm. Could make a wonderful Christmas gift. It could. And y- if you order now, you might get it in time. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hurry up. Uh, and now on to the news. Mm-hmm. Disney shares opening plans for the new Toy Story restaurant. The Roundup Rodeo Barbecue is set to open in the Toy Story area of Disney's Hollywood Studios in spring of 2023. The table service restaurant will feature a Western theme and serve barbecue-inspired comfort food, such as house-smoked meats, sides, and desserts served family style. It was first said that the restaurant would open in late 2022, but it is now scheduled to open spring of 2023. Couple things. First, what is up? With slow Disney construction. What up with that? <laughs> Tron, Tron's taking forever. Yeah. And now, like, this little, the barbecue restaurant, a little delayed. Mm-hmm. For sure. It is, like, is is Universal, with Epic Universal, taking all the construction workers, slowing Disney down a lot? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> it's, it's, there's, a, there's a conspiracy theory for you. Okay, there you all go. Right. <laughs> if you're looking for one, we got, we got you covered on that but one. But now, more importantly... I love barbecue. Mm-hmm. So sure I am do. looking forward to this place. Like they said, comfort food. Mm-hmm. Sign me up. <laughs> a new scavenger hunt game featuring the characters from Disney's DuckTales will debut at Epcot this week. The virtual scavenger hunt game will be available on the Play Disney Parks app. The game will include missions from different pavilions around the world showcase. Help Yui, Dewey, Louie, Webby, and Scrooge McDuck and friends defeat dastardly villains and recover the lost seven plunders of the world on an amazing adventure that spans the globe, says the app. Visitors will complete several missions as they make their way around World Showcase, finding hidden treasures and unlocking interactive elements in seven pavilions. Once visitors complete a mission in one of the country pavilions, they will receive an achievement in the app. Each mission will take about 25 to 30 minutes to complete. So this could be an investment in time then. Okay. If each mission is going to take 25 to 30 minutes and there's several missions, like seven pavilions. Oh, wow. That's like a, that seems like a long time you'd be doing this. For sure. That's a full day. Right. If I read that activities, right. Activities, I know. Yeah. Huh, it's interesting. Mm -hmm. Disney Imagineers have shared an update on Epcot's Journey of Water inspired by Moana. The 16-foot figure of Te Fiti has been installed at the attraction site. The outdoor trail is expected to open in late 2023. And we're going to hold them to that date. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) No more pushing stuff back. Not a lot of universal news this week. Nope. They did send out a press release, though. Now, it's all about Christmas and Hanukkah and the New Year's activities taking place at their eight hotels. Correct. Now, it was a long press release. I'm not going to, like, go through it here. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I wanted to have a long weekly roundup, I could just do that. But just it was, that alone. It's a lot of stuff. I mean, it's talking about every hotel they have there. Mm-hmm. Um, let me just go to the website real fast. Okay. Um, it is a separately ticketed well, event. Well, well, some of it is. For like one of at, them? Uh, well, like the, uh, the the big hotel, like the 
I don't want to say luxury, the uh, the premier hotels. Right. Uh, like Lowe's Portofino Bay, they have a New Year's event that's separately ticketed, as does uh, the Hard Rock has one. Let me look at this. Royal Pacific. Mm-hmm. Um, doesn't mention it there, do they? No. no not as a separately ticketed event. Um, the New Year's Eve one is, though? Sapphire Falls. Okay. The, um, the uh, Holiday New Year's buffet. Eve's celebration is a separately ticketed event. So oh, okay. Ca- it's not every hotel, but right. uh, some of them do have, like, their New Year's Eve party or whatever you have to buy a ticket for. Got you. Um, I'm going to just leave a link. I'll just, yeah. Let me switch back over here. Yeah. I will just leave a link. And then you can pick your favorite yeah. hotel that you want to and, and <laughs> see you can, more information you about. You can read and study up on the Christmas, Hanukkah, and New Year's Eve activities mm-hmm. at those resorts. It's a lot of it. So There you go. Well, we are almost done with 2022. What are we looking forward to the most next year in 2023, Nikki? Hmm. Before we get to that, how yeah. about a channel review? Okay, channel review. 2022 was awesome for the Rick's Flicks channel. It was record numbers for like for views and watch time and everything important to a YouTuber. 2022 was the best year ever. For our channel, for sure. That's good news, right? Yes, absolutely. But you know what? We also hit a record, though. We also hit... 100,000. A, a milestone, yeah. A milestone yeah. as well. Okay. So anything important with a, being a YouTuber, a lot of good stuff happened in 2022. Right. All the measurables. Uh, but I was going to say, that's that's just a, a lot of pressure for 2023 now. I don't know. I like pressure. I like it. Let's, let's bring it on. Let's do this. We're going to have to work hard to have 2023 beat 2022 and all those things. We can do it. I mean, it was, that's how good 2022 was. Nice. Um, now, as far as what we're looking forward to in 2023, yeah. there are some new attractions coming to the area. Not like a ton. Mm-hmm. Um, Universal, I think, they're having one main attraction, Minion Blast. And that one, I'm like, eh, we'll see. I mean, like, I I was kind of that way towards MIB until I learned how to score well. Right, and then now it's it's become more fun, exactly. Yeah. So so we'll see. You know, Minion Blast may grow on me. We'll see how that goes. Okay. Um, now there's two coasters coming. So which one do you think we're most looking forward to? We got Tron. We think, <laughs> provided they, they are testing it. So yes, I think yeah, it will happen running, in 2023. Like, yeah, those light cycles have been running like continuously for a while now. So we have Tron mm-hmm. in 2023, and SeaWorld has Pipeline, the surf coaster. To open in 2023. Which is unique. It's a unique coaster to this area. I mean, yeah. But so is Tron too, though. So, I mean, I th- it's pretty awesome, those I two think, things. I think Pipeline's being a, it's a stand-up coaster, yeah. a little more unique. Yeah. Uh, I think my, I think I'm, I think Tron for me. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, me too. Yeah. I mean, but I, I am looking forward to the Pipeline, the stand-up coaster for sure. I mean, anything new like that. Yeah. I, it looks like so much fun. You know. I've never been on a coaster like that, so either one of them, really. I mean, well, I mean, Tron's a light cycle, so it's like kind of like on, a, on motorcycle, it like is. Hagrid's when it you're on the, is, but the bike side of Hagrid's. I know this is a futuristic one, though. But <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, for me, I think yeah, Tron is the thing I am most looking forward to in 2023. Mm-hmm. Now we do have our usuals, you know, that we always look forward to at Universal. Um, Mardi Gras, not too far away from Mardi Gras. Yes, that's always a really, really fun time, for sure. Throwing beads, definitely a, like a bucket list item to do, you know. Enjoy Love the parade. And the concerts are so much fun. And the, uh, yeah. oh, and the food. Yeah, the food's great, too. That is, um, that has the best food at Universal. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Now, Halloween Horror Nights does have some good, some good stuff to offer. It's, it's heavily just, it's themed. It's crazy, though. It's really crazy type food. It is crazy. You know? it's, it's heavily themed mm-hmm. food where, yeah, like... Unique combinations, I would say. And then we have Halloween Horror Nights, as usual, our favorite event, and the holidays again next year. Yeah. So all the usuals for uh, Universal we're looking forward to. Good stuff, you know, to look forward to in 2023 for sure. That's why I always, like, um, I do recommend people become a pass holder at Universal. Mm -hmm. That way they have the whole year to hit those major events. If you just came for Mardi Gras season, yeah, Halloween Horror Nights, and then the, the Christmas holidays, I mean, there's three, you know, solid vacations right there where they're unique and different. Well, and you get all the fun of the theme park. Yeah. With those extras. For sure. Yeah, the par- the extra parades, the extra food, mm-hmm. the extra scares. Now, um, the only thing is the Halloween Horror Nights is a separately ticketed event. So. Right. 
Exactly. But that's all the usuals we're looking forward to there. Oh, for sure. Uh, we had a great time in 2022. Yeah. Looking for looking forward to more fun in 2023. Yeah, we got some fun ideas coming. You know, um, we really try to hit the ground running in you know in January. Yeah. Um, and doing the prep work now for it too. So even though there may, like you were saying, things might be light the next two weeks, we're actually hustling. Um, you know, even around family stuff to prep for the, January, the start of twenty twenty three. Yeah, exactly. We we already have like a really big push. You know. Yeah, we slow that. down a bit in in the fourth quarter. We do. We do. You know, a lot of stuff happening. Yeah. Um, it's a slower time for the channel, but it is. Uh, usually, when the the calendar flips to the new year. Uh, maybe it's because people they start planning their summer vacations and they're they're planning for twenty twenty three right looking forward to spring and you know yeah. getting out of that the snow and the cold and heading to yeah. you know sunny warm Florida yeah. and things like that so making those plans so please make sure you're subscribed and you have the bell notification button clicked YouTube is not not very good with notifications and yeah stuff. it's been inconsistent we've talked to um several subscribers uh in the parks mm-hmm. and have said where have you been you haven't seen any videos lately and i'm like no we've been posting like usual so um if the if you're noticing that you're not getting many notifications yeah. um you know pop onto the channel once a week and just check out and see what we've done because you know we're still you know we're still putting up videos pretty regularly or if you're sh- or if you're just like depending on youtube to put us in your feed Right. No, no. YouTube's just being weird. So yeah. just turn on notifications, double check your subscribe because we do have um, one person I talked to like, yeah, I had all that stuff turned on and then I went and looked and then it wasn't. So I had to turn all that stuff on again. Right. Exactly. So sometimes things like that get bumped. Yeah. So, um, you know, whether, you know, like it's, it's out of your control. So, um, yeah, just check in every so often because we're still here. We're still hustling. We're still working. Well, and just... Click that bell notification button. <laughs> Just in case. Uh, so that is what the heck happened last week. Don't forget to check the description box for that link to our newest book, Murder at the Raven's Claw. Very much like an Ag- Agatha Christie style. So, well, uh, the awesome. author, J. Jackson Bentley, he said or told us that um, what Christmas, like murder mysteries or mystery type stories at Christmas time Mm -hmm. is kind of a thing in the UK. It is. It is. Yeah. Yeah, He told us that. I was was not aware. Exactly. So anyway, make sure you check the description box for that book. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we just said, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And as always, don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. See you next time. His name is Rick. Her name is Nikki showing